Hello Guardians, Reepithy here bringing you another Destiny video. Today we go over the Path of the Striker and Path of the Defender subclass mission. I will show you how to most effectively complete the mission and what your reward is. Let's start off with the Path of the Defender first. The first step is to kill 50 enemies while in your Ward of Dawn, kills with your grenades or melee. You might be thinking, oh, well that's just simple, throw a bubble in a mob of enemies and punch and shotgun away. This is false, and for some reason, the only kills that count are grenade kills and your fully charged melee. I will show you the bug now. As you can see they are clearly in my bubble and I check my progress after each kill and it does not go any higher. So the best way is to boot up the Dark Beyond mission and run up to the mob and throw a grenade and hope for multiple kills. Use armamentarium and magnetic grenades for the best results. Once you are done, turn in your quest to unlock the next portion. The next step is to create 25 orbs of light. I took two of my friends with me to the Cosmodrome who were defender titans and we used the crest of Alpha Loopy and kept chaining bubbles together. Also, if you use Gift of the Void, you can make more orbs as enemies shoot your bubble. If you are solo, do the Dark Beyond mission or the Siege of the Warmind mission. Kill the Thrall Wave with your bad juju and use your bubble. Rinse and repeat. The last part of the quest is to get 30 kills as a fire team while they are under effect of Weapons of Light or Blessing of Light. This step is super easy. Pop a bubble in a random strike, we just happen to do the Archon Priest, and use the Glass House to help your Ward of Dawn effects last 5 seconds longer for your team. Once you complete the strike, run to the tower and earn your reward. You earn the Mark of the Defender which comes with a weapon upgrade perk and increases your Vanguard reputation gains. Alright, let's move on to the Striker class. The strategy is very similar to the other steps. Step 1, kill 50 enemies with Fist of Havoc, grenades, or melee. Simply just do the Dark Beyond mission. Use bad juju for your super, throw your grenade at the right moment, wipe and repeat until completed. The next quest is to create 25 orbs of light with your super. Just to mix things up, I went to the Siege of the War Mind and killed the enemies with bad juju, got my super, and slammed away. Jump off here and start over the checkpoint. After you turn that in, you unlock the final task, which is to make 7 orbs with your Fist of Havoc 3 times in a strike, then complete the strike. The strike that presents the most opportunities to complete this is the Undying Mind Strike. At the halfway part of the strike, use your Fist of Havoc on all the Vex Majors. Kill two with one slam to create eight orbs if you're using the Crest of Alpha Loopy. You should be able to complete this three times with the massive amounts of enemies at this part. Complete the strike and turn in your quest for the Mark of the Striker. It gives you a random weapon upgrade perk and the ability to earn more Vanguard reputation. This has been my guide for the Titan and I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if this strategy worked for you or what strategy you used to complete this. Please leave a like and subscribe for more Destiny content. If you need help in your other Path 2 missions, click below for the Hunter questline or the Warlock questline. This has been Reepathy and goodbye till next time.